They broke up with me during social isolation. Fuckers. Unbelievable. My girlfriend broke up with me shortly after quarantine began. We had been together for six plus months, and yet as soon as quarantine began, she seemed to give up. We are from different states, so we both went back to our hometowns and are not able to visit each other till this is over, so she decided it was over. How should I cope with being dumped while in isolation? Well, one, you, I mean, you're in isolation, so you definitely got given a chasm, uh, a good cocoon to do your growth. Now, I have a couple thoughts on this. One, I can't imagine this just came out of nowhere. I'll give you an example. In Vancouver, when COVID came, it was about a week into COVID, and one of my favorite businesses closed. A week into COVID, and they were like, COVID, COVID caused our business to close. And I'm like, no way COVID had an impact on you in a week. You were waiting to close and then COVID came and then you're like, well, I can just blame COVID. So this is great. I'm just going to blame COVID and end the business and get out of this damn thing. And everyone else goes, COVID, it's not their fault. They're not a failure in business. They're okay. It's a great choice. They were so impacted. And certainly business had been impacted, but I'm talking one week in. So I would say that she was probably on the edge of it anyways, which is not a excuse for her and it's not to minimize the pain that you're experiencing. But what I'd say here is this is you don't want someone who when times get hard is out the fucking door, right? Like the ultimately what relationships, the bottom line question we ask is we go when things are tough, will you be there? I think this is the same questions we ask of our businesses, of the people we work with or for, is we say, when things are hard, will I be there? And a lot of companies have said, profit over people, we need to let go of everybody, and they're not there for you when you need them. And that's a sign of a business you don't want to be with. It's also a sign of a person you don't want to be with. Now, there's the pain of the relationship sort of ghosting experience that you're having, which is the story is ending. It's hard to make uh, sense of that. Also, that you probably feel not considered because she did it in a way that feels hurtful to you, that feels out of integrity, and that she didn't try. Um, but... You know, that perspective is also missing that the relationship might have not been what you wanted, that that in her giving up, she freed you from mediocrity. This relationship if it had continued, she would have been pretending she wanted to be in it. And you don't want to be with someone who doesn't fight your fight too. No one can do enough work for two people in a relationship. It requires two. And you will always notice that when one person is doing all the fucking, fucking hustling in the relationship, it always leads to burnout, resentment, and the relationship ending. Because it always requires two. Always requires two.